These seven no-code AI tools have the potential to make you rich if you know how to use them. This is Jesus, and after learning just one of these tools, he was able to scale to $120,000 in his first year. So buckle up, my friends, because I'm about to show you how you can turn simple designs into full-on apps, create striking presentations in seconds with AI, and even turn your voice into action. So this first tool I want to introduce you to pretty much broke the internet when it was first launched, specifically in the designer and developer community. Why? Well, because it's actually a really big step forward for the UI UX world. The name of this tool, my friends, is V0, and it was created by Vercel. And it's a platform that allows you to build fully functional UI UX elements or web design without writing a single line of code. So it's fully prompt based, which means that you can build components or entire projects without having to be a designer or developer. So let's jump in here. And the first thing that you'll notice is that it's pretty much just set up as a chat. So you can come in here and you can kind of just describe what you would like it to build. So let's start with something simple, like build me the landing page for a website that's similar to Airbnb. I'll probably add, have a search function and showcase some properties. So you see, it's actually coding this as we speak. And in a second, right now, you're gonna see the preview of what it's actually coding. And what you just saw was actually in real time, it generated this entire thing, but it still has some errors. I can see that here, the four stars, for example, it's kind of strange and it's used some placeholder data, but it's pretty much displaying a lot of things that I'd be looking for here. So let's go ahead and make this full screen. Where are you going, Paris? What are your dates? We're gonna leave tomorrow. When are you coming back? Until when, I guess. <laughs> guests, uh, three guests. Let's go ahead and search. So this is pretty impressive for just that little prompt. If I click here, view details it's not actually working so let me go ahead and close this and let's just create some additional stuff so here on the left hand side i can actually continue to converse with it and i can continue to fix bugs to add things to ask for additional things to tweak some of the things i don't like here so let's see what it can give us now please add detail pages behind the featured properties with all the information someone would need to rent a property and so it tells me here that it's actually created a detail page that you can view by clicking on view details let's check this out holy smokes look at that it even has on the right hand side, it's sticky, has a location, has all these different things. And then it even showcases other properties. And I didn't even ask for anything. I could ask for it to change all the smaller details inside of this actual app, but I'm actually pretty blown away with what it's created just off the bat. And remember that it's actually built all of the code behind this. So this is actually something that you could download. You could also copy all of this code. And at the top right here, you can also just share. So these are all functional UI UX pages that you could send to a developer who could then connect it to the back end. And the product at the moment is in beta, it's completely free free, it obviously allows you to also upgrade. The plans start at $20 a month. And so this is already super impressive, but what I'm about to show you is probably going to completely blow your mind because with this next tool, we can take it even one step further. Now this tool is called Buzzy and I've already talked about it on the channel. However, they just released this incredible plugin that got my head spinning. You see, Buzzy is actually one of the first platforms that allows you to build full apps with prompts. And let me show you what their new plugin can do. Okay, so I'm inside Figma here, which is an amazing design tool that I highly recommend. And as you can see, I've built out the design for an app here. So I have all of the screens for this app. If I come here to the bottom and I grab all of these, I can basically come to the plugins, come here inside, and Buzzy has this plugin. So here it finds the screens and it asks me if I want to create an app. And so I'm gonna create a new Buzzy app. Now I've created a brief here that kind of describes the app as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and auto mark up. So this is a workout app called FlexiFit where I'm gonna be able to essentially track my workouts and track my meals. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Now what it's doing is that it's actually identifying all of the things that are on these screens to figure out where it actually has to put functionality behind it. It tells me it's gonna be about three minutes, but last time I did it, it actually took a lot less time. And just like that, it took about a minute and a half and we have screens are marked up, excellent. And then we're gonna come here and we're going to click on publish. I'm actually gonna go straight here and I'm gonna go to view in live mode. And my friends, it has just created a functional app just from designs inside of Figma, which is absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and check this out. First thing I'll do is go ahead and add a workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the name of the workout. I can have a date where this happened and select this date. So as you can see, it's actually functional. So this is a fully fledged app here that we're talking about. And now I have that, I can go back here the main app and then underneath your recent workouts i'm going to see chest i didn't put an image so you don't see anything here for meals i can also go click on meals it's going to add a meal let's go ahead and select this was lunch two eggs and as you can see here if i go a bit further down then it's going to show me my lunch it was at 126 so this is actually really cool it's built out of first version of my app it's very impressive again 
this is the beginning of this kind of movement, right? I have a lot more to share with you. And yes, all the tools I'm talking about, you can check out in the description below and actually go ahead and play around on your own. But let's say you don't wanna build an app. What if you just wanna create crazy AI automation that's highly catered to your business? Well, that's what we're gonna get into with this next tool. And by the way, the deal between me and you is that if you're impressed by any one of these tools, you have to click on the subscribe button. Yes, it's the deal. Yeah, it's just me alone here, Jesus. Look at how sad, I even have to pat myself on the back. This, my friends, is Vectorshift, a company that recently graduated from Y Combinator and that just raised millions of dollars in funding. There are no code AI automations platform, which makes it really easy to create workflows that have AI and you can use this in really large organizations, but also in small ones. Christian, what are you talking about? Well, they have this drag and drop builder that allows you to actually build these out and then you can deploy them as a, for example, search engine, as an assistant, as a chat bot or actually create automations. And if right now you're thinking, Christian, I can do this with ChatGPT. Well, this is incredibly more precise. Let me explain. So imagine just, for example, connecting your Google Drive that has a million documents in it that are not at all organized. It can basically search through those documents and find what you're looking for incredibly precisely. And they do this with two key features. One is an advanced document analysis. The other one is basically this hybrid model. So usually you search via keywords. Here you can do it through keywords, but also blend in meaning. So for example, you could upload the drive file where you have 10,000 pictures from Hawaii and ask it to find that one where you were wearing that beautiful necklace. With no further ado, let's jump in. Let me show you how it works. When you jump into the platform, everything here is based on pipelines, which are basically workflows. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to input a knowledge base, right? So for example, here, if I click here, I'm going to be able to add a new one. In this case, I'm probably going to choose to connect my Google Drive. So I'll click on create new knowledge base and then I'm going to call it agreements. Do something with contracts for this one. I'm going to turn on the advanced document analysis and the hybrid model that I just explained. Now I'm going to upload any documents that I would want it to be able to get access to. Here I'm going to add an integration with Google Drive. Then I'm going to select the document here, which is going to be the sales for May 2024. I'm going to go ahead and confirm the selection. And once I have my knowledge uploaded, I'm going to be able to come here in pipelines and I'm just going to show you how the builder works. It's super simple. Create a new one. You can actually use a template, but here I'm gonna use from scratch. Input, grab this, drop it. Output, grab this, drop it. Then here I'm gonna to wanna to use an LLM. I'm gonna use OpenAI. I'm also gonna add the knowledge base. So let's go ahead and grab the knowledge, put it here. In this case, I'm gonna use a chatbot. So here for the input, it's already text. So yeah, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a, a written chatbot. And here for the knowledge base, I'm just gonna select the agreements. If you did the knowledge you want it to have over here, I'm gonna select which uh, actual version I wanna use. I'll use the latest one. So 01 preview question, because that's what, um, we're gonna be feeding it up here in the input field. And then I'm gonna put context, which is gonna be the knowledge base. It's gonna create these two little nodes here and then I'm gonna connect them. So here the input is going to be the question and here the results are gonna be based on this context, right? This is the context, we're feeding it in here. Then we're gonna connect this one here. Then I'm gonna connect this one here. And that's pretty much it. Let's see this in action. We're gonna go ahead and deploy changes. Then we're gonna click export as a chat box. We're gonna call it agreements. And now I'm just gonna query the data. What was my best sales day in May 2024? So my top day was actually the 4th of May. So that's pretty much it. The platform is super flexible, so you can build all sorts of AI automations with it. Okay, so if you have an idea for an app, but you have no idea how to get started and you don't have technical skills, then check out We Are No Code. We help people build, launch, and monetize their software businesses. And we have cheap options like our course bundle below or one-on-one -on -one coaching. And we even take on select customers for custom builds. So instead of just staying in analysis paralysis with that awesome idea, take action today. Let's get back to the video. This, my friends, is an awesome no-code builder called No Loco. Now, in a previous video, I showed you guys how this tool can just take a simple spreadsheet and basically, with AI, generate a full app. But now I want to present to you their new AI workflows because they've blown me away. Now, first of all, No Loco is an awesome tool to be able to build internal tools like client portals, CRMs, dashboards, etc. And you can build these with their database, but also connected to an external database like Airtable or Google Sheets. Not impressed yet? Come check this out. Here, I'm inside of a client portal portal that basically allows you to manage everything in your company. So here, projects, tasks, clients, basically all of it. And one of the biggest problems when you run a business is to basically create these custom proposals for each one of your clients. So I'm not going to show you how you can actually automate this inside of your app. To do that, I'm going to come here inside of workflows. Now workflows is basically like an automation, right? Something triggers it and then it's gonna run through a bunch of different actions. Okay, to save you some time, let me just show you the finished product. Basically, when someone, action, 
updates record for that specific project, then what it's gonna do is it's going to create an action, which is generate proposal, right? So here it's one of the steps, which is an AI workflow step, which is send a question or instruction to chat GPT. And here I put a prompt. You are an expert project manager at a design agency. So I give it a role, I give it a goal, and then I give it a specific set of instructions. And then at the end, I want it to be very specific to a client. So I put the client name, I put some information about the client, which are the notes, and then I added the call notes as well. And then I needed to update that record too. But let's see this thing in action. I'm not inside of my portal. And if I come here to the right on the top, there are proposals. Now here I create a new proposal, as I had mentioned, I can give it a description, right? So here I'm actually going to pop the transcript right inside of here of a customer conversation that took place. Then I'm gonna come here and choose the actual client. We're gonna say it's elite event planning. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just save that. As you can see, my proposal is now generating leveraging AI because the workflow in the background actually saw the trigger and it's starting to create the proposal. And voila, about 35 seconds later, here I can see the full proposal. The overview of the proposal, understanding of your needs, proposed solution, timeline, budget estimate, why us, and then the next steps. And this is just one of many AI workflows that you can now do that can run in the background of all of your apps inside of NoLoco, which is so cool. But let's take this one step further, my friends. Now let's say that we wanna make a really beautiful presentation with this, but we don't necessarily want to have to send this to a designer and do all the steps. This is where this next tool will absolutely shine. But for that, I'm gonna have to copy this entire proposal. This next tool turns any prompt into a beautiful website in seconds. And after being launched in 2023, they quickly raised millions of dollars for it. The name of the tool is Gamma. And let me show you how we're going to leverage it to close that deal. If you come to the website, they show you that it is a new medium for presenting ideas and you're going to see that their AI is pretty badass. And once you're inside, the ease of use is so amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new AI presentation here. Go ahead and generate. This one is using AI. So you can create presentations, websites, or documents. Here, I'm going to create a presentation, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Describe what you are making. Please turn this proposal into a customer presentation. Then I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna copy this. Let's see what it comes up with. It says eight total cards, that sounds good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and select the sort of template that I wanna use here on the right hand side. Kind of like this one, looks kind of futuristic. Let's go ahead and use that. Can go to the top here and I can basically click generate. Let's see what it comes up with. Just like that, it's just generating everything and leveraging AI, this is really cool. Our presentation is finished. Let's see. Let's go ahead and come to the top here and see what we have. Since it's an event planner, it seems like it's uh, decided to choose the event planner picture. So this is the first slide and it's about us, key features and functionalities. So ultimately we might wanna just edit this. So first of all, you can select through, from a bunch of different pictures. You can also choose to just completely search from scratch. Uh, so you could create, instead of luxury event planning, you could have slick app development because I think that's a little bit more what we're providing to them. So let's go ahead and uh, generate. That's a little bit more like it. Let's go ahead and go a bit further down. Let's go ahead and click on that. There's obviously some way better options here. Let's choose this one. And just like that, in a couple seconds, we have this presentation that we could pretty much send to the customer. So now you could download this as a PDF. You could upload it inside of NoLoco to the customer's profile. And you could also create another AI workflow that creates a personalized email to each customer that you could add with this presentation inside of it. By the way, if any of these have impressed you, you owe me a subscribe. And if not, keep watching because I'm going to continue blowing your mind here. Let's jump into the next tool. This is Claude, a competitor to ChatGPT. Boring content, Christian. I already know Claude. Well, I bet you didn't know this. You can turn a picture or a napkin sketch into a website leveraging this tool. So to show you this, I came to my website, wearenocode.com. We're going to scroll down and I'm going to find a section that I'm trying to actually recreate. So here I'm going to create the uh, free resources section where we have a free course, the YouTube channel and a tool repository. Now let me just take a picture of this section here. I'm going to airdrop it to myself. I'm now going to go back to Claude. I'm going to feed it this image and I'm also going to add this specific prompt. Turn this image into a website. And just like that, it's created all of the HTML and the CSS behind that picture based on that design. Let's go and see what it looks like. Preview. Okay, it has the three sections, free course, YouTube channel, tool repository, start learning. So it's basically uh, done all the visual recognition. It's transformed that into code. And now let's say I need a little more spacing in between these and it is now rewriting this. Go ahead and check it out just like that. Now let's go ahead and publish it. Click here, copy the link, boom. Just like that, we have the version. <laughs> 
that works. So yeah, there are lots of hidden tools behind tools you might already think that you know. Now remember Jesus from the beginning of this video who made 120K his first year using this tool? Well, the name of the tool that he used is this one. It's called Glide. It's a no-code app builder. And recently inside of their builder, they've released some AI tools that are really cool, including things like voice to text. So let me show you this tool and explain how you can have it trigger actions. When you jump inside the builder, you can go ahead and create a new app. Now the cool thing here is that you can generate an app from scratch leveraging AI. So let's just start with that. Create a notes app that uses audio to text. Notes, recordings, that sounds good. Let's go ahead and create this app. So this is the editor. If I go ahead and create a new recording, it's going to have all of these different fields. So I'm gonna first of all, come inside of data. I'm gonna create an additional field here. We're gonna call this field record. Then I'm gonna come here inside of the field type. We're gonna go to AI. I'm gonna choose audio to text. And I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna add a field. We're gonna create a field which is um, recording. We're gonna create a basic URL field. This is where I'm gonna store the recording itself. And we're gonna create another one which is called voice note. And now here, AI fields, audio to text. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click on that field. The URL is gonna fall there. Go ahead and bring these over here. Now I'm gonna go into the layout. I'm gonna add a component here, audio recorder. I'm gonna go ahead and add it. So I'm gonna delete all the fields. I added a recorder. Now I'm gonna add an audio. Now this audio is gonna come from recording. I'm also gonna add a little title. So let's have a text entry. And now let's quickly test this out. Hello, one, two, three, is this working? My name is Christian. Boom, and it's gonna be right here. Hello, one, two, three, is this working? It is working. And the way to make this into actions is that as soon as something falls into a data field, we can have that be a trigger. We can create automations behind it. And we can literally have it do things like send that to Slack, for example. Now your next question is probably, how do you generate money with these skills, Christian? Well, each one of these skills is actually something that many people would be happy to pay for. So Jesus, for example, chose to get good at a no-code app builder and build apps for people. You could choose to do things like sell client portals with no loco, sell presentations with Gamma, or even automate the systems inside of other businesses. Become a freelancer for front-end development with things like V0, or create apps with Buzzy. And if you wanna learn how not just to use these tools, but actually how to build a profitable SaaS business, then check out this video because I'm going to be showing you every single step that I use to build an AI app and actually go out and get customers for it. Hope you got value from this video. Check out this one. Let's go.